And now it's action time. In this exercise, we are going to design the same 4 to 2 encoder as in the previous action time, but using a different coding style. The module ports are identical with the ones from Prio Enc 1 4 to 2. The sole difference is that in the always at block, we are going to use a case1 statement instead of an if else if statement. Case1 means that the case will execute the first line that returns a true condition. Line 73 means that if d3 equals 1, then q equals 3, and v equals 1. It is extremely important to write the conditions in the descending order of the priority, otherwise we won't get the right behavior for the priority encoder. The default from line 77 will trigger when all the case lines return a zero value, this being valid only in the case when d equals zero. Case 1 is a widely used design technique because it generates predictable results for both design and verification tools. The test bench is identical with the previous one, the only difference being the instantiated module. After you run the simulation, you should get the same results in the console. As a challenge, you could try to switch line 73 and 76 from prior ang 2 422.v, then recompile and rerun the simulation. Do you see the same results in the console or different ones? Congratulations! You now know how to design priority encoders using Verilog.